Imagine a future where diseases no longer exist. They are completely obliterated, gone. It sounds impossible, but in the grand scheme of things, it is nevertheless what science is reaching for. And one of the scientists chasing after new knowledge is Claudia Kutter. She is looking for a cure for one of the deadliest diseases in human history, cancer. So do you just want to propagate more and then... And the place where she is looking, few have looked before. Namely, in the part of our cells previously thought to be junk. Man is made up of cells, billions of cells that constantly reproduce themselves. When we get cancer, something happens to the cells that makes them mutate and they become malicious. Such mutated cancer cells reproduce much faster than other cells, so they take over and make us sick. And what it is that makes the cell mutate is what Claudia Kutter and her team are investigating. They are looking in a part of our cell, which previously was thought to be completely useless, in what is called non-coding RNA. So my group is interested in understanding how the genome is working. And we are looking in particular on parts of the genome that don't give rise to proteins. To remove it without like causing the tRNA degradation. And these parts are called non-coding RNAs. And for a long time, uh, researchers have disregarded them as junk. They wouldn't do anything. But in fact, we figured out that they harbor a lot of activity and regulate the cell function. Claudia Kutter is originally from Germany, but her curiosity around RNA has gradually led her here to Sweden. Ah, I think research is just a privilege. Um, it's so intriguing if you are finding something that nobody else has discovered before, and then understanding what it is doing is, is just um, a wonderful experience. Sweden has also given her a more equal platform, and it is important to her to show that research is for everyone. Everybody can become a scientist. It's not just the white beard um, men. Um, it's every young scientist can contribute to new discoveries. You can, you can almost put a, a ruler yeah. through so this. Really nice. Look at it, it's really correlated, yes. But the job of mapping the non-coding RNA is no easy task. It's um, a rather new field, so it's really uncharted territory. There's so much that we still need to discover, and we're like explorer on a new research area. So are you setting up the, um, the QPCR? The QPCR. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The biggest challenge in, in our research is that we are now gathering so much information, so many data, and it is really crucial to understand what these data mean and interpret them in a correct way. Kutter thus charts out this cell's RNA. RNA's job is to build proteins. The protein then affects how our bodies behave but some RNA don't create any proteins. That's the reason why scientists ignored it before. But as it turns out, these non-coding RNA are active in other ways. Claudia Kutter's research has shown that these RNA may be playing a major role in the formation of cancer cells. So the ultimate goal of our research is to contribute to our understanding how cancer is developing and we in particular want to understand the roles of the non-coding RNAs in the setting. When we understand them, then we can also develop um, methods to cure um, cancer. The idea is that when scientists reach an understanding of just how the non-coding RNA creates cancer, they will also figure out how to terminate this RNA in order to terminate the cancer. This would not only provide a new type of treatment, but also a very precise treatment which targets the cancer cells while leaving surrounding cells alone.
So in the large, ongoing collective movement which is research for a healthier world, where many individual researchers dive deep into small, precise parts, Claudia Kutter is working to find new knowledge about a tiny part of the cell to cure a major disease. Once we understand what these non-coding RNAs are precisely doing, we can use them in medicine and deliver it directly to the cancer cell in order to kill it.